Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one from Artsploitation Films. This is Chasing the Muse with a bonus feature, uh, Exposition. Exposition? Ugh. Getting tongue-tied right there. Exhibition on there uh, from 1975. They're both French films, both by the same director. Uh, let's hop into this. Uh, Chasing the Muse. Uh, I put this in. It's about an hour and a 40-minute documentary. Kind of a documentary, kind of a porno, kind of like an art style thing. Uh, it follows this old uh, French director going around uh, Europe and uh, trying to find like his special muse for his next film, uh, which entails him of uh, kissing all the models he tries out... Uh, and uh, having sex with a lot of them, getting blowjobs, eating a lot of them out. Yeah, or performing oral sex on them. Uh, the whole thing is kind of awkward. Uh, he, he quotes a lot of, uh, you know, highly, uh, you know, respected people and stuff like that, I imagine, in literature and whatnot, and just philosophers and things like that. And uh, there's a lot of uh, some strange editing techniques, you know crossing screens over and whatnot and fades and transitions and and stuff like that but uh all in all it, it's trying to be like an art film but it really feels very more exploitative than anything and uh the film can be very repetitive and uh it's just kind of strange to me and just the whole thing feels very awkward this 60 some year old man is sleeping with these young beautiful women and at the very end he he tries to make this point that he's he's brave and he's He's, you know, he's daring, but it, it really just sounds uh, kind of just sleazy to me. Although just you put a filter on it and you quote higher art doesn't make your movie higher art. That's just how I personally feel about the film. Uh, maybe I'm just a prude or an asshole. Maybe I just don't understand it. Maybe I don't get it. But uh, yeah, that's that's how I kind of felt about the movie. Uh, and and it, this is like the free sexual nature of the movie. Uh, I don't know why it. Uh, the, a lot of the beginning, you know, some of the genitals are blurred in the beginning of the film. I wonder if that's just because uh, maybe they couldn't get release forms, maybe some of the cameras were hidden, maybe that uh, they didn't get a tax break if they had the full-on nudity, or maybe uh, they just wanted to make it less of a distraction. I really don't understand that there. Uh, to me, although I don't think the movie's intention was that, uh, the whole entire thing just came off as really kind of uncomfortable and sleazy to me. Uh, it, it, it's interesting from the point that it's an old uh, kind of... Uh, porn kind of style documentary director making these movies and putting himself in the position to do it but uh it's just really kind of awkward and strange and uh the end when he actually finds the woman that he finds to be the muse it doesn't necessarily seem like he seems that much different about her than he did about the earlier girls it's just maybe the one that he he just wanted to choose at that time or the one that they were we're running out of money we got to find the girl right away but uh, i understand what uh, uh to a certain extent what the movie's going for but uh, for some reason uh like i said it just maybe i I didn't grasp the whole thing. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that enjoy it. Personally, I just find it more exploitative and less arty than it is supposed to be. But it is from Artsploitation Films, so maybe that's... I understand why they released it. I just don't understand why the director uh, framed the movie the way he did frame it. Uh, like I said, a lot of crop stuff and a lot of uh, blurring of the genitals and things. When a movie's supposed to be free and exploitative and uh, filled with, like... I mean, not exploitative, but free and exploration of, like nudity and sex it's kind of strange that the genitals are blurred out to me uh all in all i just i, I really did enjoy the the movie it felt kind of very repetitive i mean there's lots of beautiful women in underwear and naked in the movie but uh it, it just feels very strange and sleazy and uh I don't mind anything that's taking place in the movie per se. I just don't like when it's something's done and uh, it's portrayed as something that it's not. And I feel that this is the movie. I know that some people believe the art form of film is to kind of mold and shape what's happening into what you believe or what you want to portray. But uh, this one was a little too obvious for what I felt it actually was. The other movie, the 1975 uh, bonus feature on here, actually is a very interesting uh, documentary that he made, which I feel is uh, well made and interesting. At, like. I I said and ha it follows a, a famous porn actress from the time from France or a porn actress and uh, it, it basically asked her a lot of questions and why she did it what she does it how her sexuality how she feels about it what it makes her feel she's a very upfront and uh, sometimes coarse person uh, during one of the sex scenes she has with a young man she basically just keeps asking him questions he's very shy and she said do you even know what you're doing and kind of like that he kind of she kind of belittles him and then Kind of ask why he can't get a direction, stuff like that. Uh, there, there's, it's definitely more sexual. There's lots of, uh, you know, full on uh, sexual acts in the movie, but that's not really the the main point of the movie. It, it kind of just goes into her life and starts discussing about uh, how she lives. And at the very end of the movie, you get you get a lot of uh, background about her and why she is the way she is. And it's actually kind of touching. At first, I was thinking she seems very judgmental for what she's doing with her life, and then a lot of the pieces and the puzzle started coming around. And you know, I kind of liked her because. Uh, 
she seemed real and and a lot of the time she seemed very genuine uh there's a there's a part in the film when he asked her what her political beliefs are and she says i don't want to get into that i'm an actress and she's also an actress in other films she says i don't think i want to get into that right now it's not your business and i love that kind of approach to things um you know a lot of day a lot of times people are so easy in, in that kind of position as an actress or a public figure to spew what they uh want to say and you know she's smart enough to know that saying that kind of stuff it alienates her against at least 50 percent of her audience possibly. But yeah, uh, I enjoyed the, I didn't enjoy the main feature on the movie in 2014, but I enjoyed his documentary, uh, from 1975 quite a bit, actually. Uh, at the very end of the movie, it goes into her like four years later, then eight years later, and she's completely changed person. Uh, everything has changed. Even some of her outlooks seem a little different. Uh, you know, it's just an interesting piece on a, a person and, you know, uh, you know, it humanizes, uh, porn actresses and porn actors as it should. I mean, they are humans. Everybody's a human. I mean, you know, but yeah, it's, it, it's an interesting look into someone's life. I think that people that are interested in porn, especially old porn would really enjoy this movie. I get an interest out of it, but chasing the muse to me is just not really my thing. I just felt, uh, you know, kind of not, uh, I just, felt awkward and sleazy and just also kind of boring at the same time. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, from art exploitation films. There's two movies on here. Uh, I would recommend, uh, the second feature on here exposition or ex exhibition. I keep getting tongue tied on that word for some reason, but yeah, I really checked that one out. Really good stuff, but chasing the muse, not my thing. 